Hello, True Crime Stories family. Welcome back. I love shopping online at Timu. Most items are of decent quality and priced much lower than retail. People are raving about their portable folding washing machine. They have lots of kitchen equipment, too. Often I find items that are helpful and which I didn't know I needed. Use my link to get 30% off your purchase. The link will be in the description box. Dana Smithers vanished and left her cell phone and wallet inside her house, meaning she likely wasn't going that far. In the mountains of Pennsylvania, it's very dark at night with a few streetlights, if any. Dana lived in an area where you have to use your high beams if you're driving at night or you won't be able to see, so I doubt if she would go far without her cell phone. She didn't tell anyone that she had plans for that night. Did she walk outside to meet someone, or did she go to her car for something and a stranger like Brian kidnapped her? Dana was also nervous that night. I wonder why she was nervous and who made her nervous. Did she see a creepy guy like Brian Koberger walking around near her house, or did she think that someone was following her, or did she get into an argument with someone? There are so many questions, but I hope investigators get to the bottom of this situation and give Dana's family answers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Dana's sister spoke about the possible connection between Brian Koberger and her sibling's disappearance. Today, Dana's sister Stacy addressed the speculation that the two cases are connected, insisting that there is no known link and that Brian has an alibi on the night of the disappearance. Stacy doesn't think Brian is responsible for her sister's death. Stacy told News Nation that authorities had informed her even before Brian's arrest, and therefore before they found Dana, that a grand jury was meeting to investigate her sister's case. Then, following Brian's arrest, the grand jury began investigating whether he could have been involved in her disappearance. Stacy said it quickly became clear that the cases weren't connected and that Brian was not in the area at the time Dana went missing. The Stroud Area Regional Police Department also released a statement insisting that there is no evidence showing a link between Koberger and Smithers' disappearance. The Stroud Area Regional Police Department is aware of the many currently reported news articles in which various media outlets have reported connections between the SARPD's Dana Smithers missing person investigation and Idaho murder suspect Brian Koberger, the statement read. The SARPD has no evidence that Dana Smithers' disappearance is in any way tied to Idaho, the suspect Brian Koberger. Officials have offered no explanation as to why the Kobergers were called to testify in the grand jury probe and are unlikely to do so given grand juries operate in secret. Dana and her children, aged 25, 23, and 7, had a family tradition to go to an amusement park in Pennsylvania every Memorial Day. This amusement park is one of the largest free admission amusement parks in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Many people go there every year because it's free, the prices for food are cheap, and the wait time to get on rides is only a few minutes. They also have a big pool and a haunted house, museum, arcade, picnic area, restaurants, and more. She would not have missed Memorial Day, said Stacy, adding that she would also never have left her youngest child for that long. She didn't do anything that didn't involve her kids. That was her thing. I mean, she was always there with the kids. Dana was finally reported missing days later after Stacy said law enforcement initially didn't take her disappearance seriously. Dana's remains were found in a wooded area one year after she vanished. In June, the Pennsylvania State Police and local police carried out searches with cadaver dogs at Glen Park in Stroudsburg, a heavily wooded area close to her home. The search did not turn up anything, and the case went cold for months. A missing persons report described Dana as a 45-year-old white female, 5 foot 5 inches, approximately 165 pounds, with brown eyes, brown hair, and last seen wearing black jeans with a burgundy shirt. For almost a year, the mother of three's family desperately searched for answers, and her case featured in an episode of NBC's Dateline in December 2022, one month after the deaths of the Idaho Four. Stacy feared the worst, saying, I think something happened. I don't think she's here anymore. Almost one year later, on April 27, 2023, Dana was found in a wooded area in Stroudsburg, although her gender and identity was unclear at the time. 
Using dental records, she was later identified, but her cause and manner of death is not yet known. What is Brian Koberger's connection to the case? There are many unanswered questions around what happened to Dana and what it may have to do with Brian. A lawyer for his parents tried to have the subpoenas canceled, but was unsuccessful. Pennsylvania judges will be permitted to share transcripts of the grand jury witness testimony with law enforcement agencies across the country in Idaho, but the grand jury investigation is still ongoing. Back in January, Stacy posted an update on the Facebook page, Finding Dana, saying that many people had contacted her about a possible link between her sister's disappearance and the Idaho Four. Thank you to everyone who has been reaching out recently regarding the possibility of the suspect in the horrific in Idaho having been in our area around the time of my sister Dana's disappearance, she wrote. I have forwarded all of your suggestions onto local law enforcement. Please pray for everyone involved. However, it comes following a report that one of Brian's older sisters grew increasingly suspicious that her brother could have been involved in the Idaho four deaths prior to his arrest. Her suspicions were so great that at one point several family members searched Brian's car for possible evidence of the crime when the family gathered to spend the holidays together. They found nothing but investigators had already allegedly seen him scrubbing his car with bleach. If you're anything like me, you want to lose some weight. Maybe not 100 pounds, but even just 10 to 20 pounds. And you're probably tired of trying. Like seriously, losing weight and keeping it off shouldn't be so freaking hard, right? There's a company that is preparing a personalized keto plan right now. You can snag your custom plan by clicking the link in the description. It's as easy as one, two, three. Spend 45 seconds telling them a little bit about yourself and your goals. Then get your custom plan and review it right away. It really is that simple. But what makes this plan so easy to follow is that literally everything is done for you. They tell you exactly what to eat and when. They give you the grocery list, the recipes, even videos showing you how to make all the delicious food. It doesn't get easier than this. So go right now and claim your custom plan while it's still available. When you click the link, you'll be taken right to the short 45-second questionnaire. Answer the questions and then BAM, you'll get your custom plan. The amount of people raving about this is absolutely insane. We all know keto works, but it can get boring. Not anymore. This custom plan changes everything for you. Grab it now.